You clicked on today's video for a reason. There's a part of you that knows better. And the part of you that knows better has to do better in the ways of thinking, being, and taking action that is truly in alignment to your purpose. And perhaps you don't even know what your purpose is. And that is okay. I think a lot of human beings in our society today are getting lost in distractions, keeping them away from their desired realities by having comfortability, a state of mind, and also a way of being. Seeking out comfortability in times that are meant to be uncomfortable. And the uncomfortable times that we as human beings go through are meant to be uncomfortable. I really do believe that, you know, a person's rock bottom moments or boredom or frustration, anger, are truly there to teach us and guide us towards what we are actually wanting to create. But within the but within the word create and creation is actually action. We cannot create out of a state of just believing that good things should come to us without actually taking action towards making a life that is best for us. Men and women in our society today expect things to be handed to them. They expect if they post a YouTube video that they should have overnight success because that's what everyone else has on YouTube or Instagram or being that quote unquote influencer, it comes with a price. It comes with commitment, dedication, and something to show up for that comes with uncomfortability. And you guys, I created this YouTube channel when I was going through a rock bottom, when I had no purpose, no idea what I was doing with my life. But I knew I had to show up for something far greater than what my known reality programmed me to show up for which was my insecurities, my unworthiness, my limitations that kept me stuck, you know, for years of my life in this state of seeking something that was outside of myself. And with greater understanding now that I can provide for you guys is whatever you are seeking outside the external, the materialistic, other people's approval and validation, the more that we seek that from other people or outside things, further away from that being created and also remembered within ourselves. I guess the purpose of my video today is to tell you guys to not give up, to not give up on your dreams just because of your circumstances right now. You can create whatever it is you want. And I think that a lot of people don't believe that. They believe that, you know, things have to be hard. And, you know, to a degree, they do have to be hard. It's the polarity of life. If everything was just easy and handed to us on a silver platter, we would have zero appreciation or respect for what this world is here to teach us, which is resiliency, perseverance, having an idea, an, an imagination of sorts, and actualizing that with your action. And that is how you access the greatest form of power is having that strong belief in yourself, your capabilities, and not taking no for an answer. And there's a lot of spiritual talk saying that, you know what, you just have to relax, be in the state of being that it's already done and accomplished, and things will just come to you, you're magnetic, don't chase, attract, which there is power to that, but I don't think it's supposed to be that way. And I think a lot of people get stuck in that mentality as though they are trying to hide from themselves by putting on that mask of everything being okay, everything being joyous, even the shitty circumstances. I'm going to put on a mask and pretend that they're not shitty. I'm going to put a cherry on top of my own suffering. And that is avoiding the problem. That is avoiding the issue. That is avoiding your evolution. Going into the fire and knowing that there will be a point within your pain, your suffering, where you transmute into the phoenix, that's the mentality you need to have, is being able to fully embody pain, anger, whatever it is that comes up for you when you're going through uncomfortable times, and making something out of it, making something out of whatever circumstance you want to get out of by not running in the opposite direction, but walking into it with the knowingness that it is there to transform you, to transform your life, your consciousness, and therefore your identity. And that's not to say that right now where you are that you're unworthy because you don't have the things that you want or you don't have the people in your life that you desire. You can still access a level of worthiness that comes by your understanding of your unworthiness to bring you back inside of your wholeness. 
when we are cracked open again and again and again, it's not there to break us. It's there to actually reshape us into our very own unique expression that we choose by putting back the pieces of perhaps what another person has broken within us or the fact that we break ourselves open just to see ourselves and our light in a grander capacity. And I'm making this video today just to remind you guys that life isn't supposed to always be good. And sometimes we go through pain and suffering um, and it's a constant sometimes. And in a way, it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to serve us if you allow it to. And that's the power of perception. That's the power of having that grit. And that grit is formed by constantly going in to the tough times with the understanding of what those tough times are there to breed within you. A lot of people are weakened in our society today, weakened on purpose through the constant stimulation of everything outside of ourselves providing us with that dopamine. Whether it be social media, porn, TV, movies, food, drugs, alcohol, you name it. I want you guys to find your dopamine response by doing the uncomfortable and being greatly rewarded by your chemical response of the accomplishment you feel and have when you actually accomplish things day in and day out. Perhaps that the you right now is scared to tap into, but knowing that that dopamine response is from your own supply, is from your own response to your responsibility you put in your life. People in our society don't like responsibility. They run from it, knowing that responsibility is what keeps us on check, keeps us on point, and actually allows us to have a standard that we have to live up to. We put a lot of standards on other people and other circumstances of how things should be. How should you be? How should you be showing up in this world? And why aren't you doing what you say you're going to do? If you make goals every New Year's and you know, it only lasts a month and you give up on yourself, you're not gonna have any form of trust for who you are. And you live with yourself until you die. You can't escape yourself. Although you can try, but uh, you'll just see that everything outside of you will just reflect your own fear. So I guess make it a practice to go into your dark, go into your pain and foster the light that comes from understanding your circumstances. And you understand them by actually talking to them and not being fearful of what's to come. Perhaps what's to come is your desires actually becoming real and living within a state of mind that allows you to actually feel safe in this human experience. But your body is intelligent and your emotions are guidance. So listen listen to the things that are out of alignment and allow yourself to rewire and program your life into a way that you actually feel excited to wake up to every day showing up for a greater purpose and it could be as simple as starting a youtube channel or writing a book or doing something that you know that is inside of you and it needs your constant reoccurring energy and attention for it to actually come true so you can give up and you can take whatever I just said in this video and completely disregard it and continue on with your life. But if this struck a chord within you and targeted a level of maybe uncomfortability, it's for a reason. It's for you to actually look yourself in the mirror today and say, I have enough of my own shit. I'm ready to create and I'm ready to be the warrior spirit that I need to embody to actually create change in my life. And it's always up to you. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it spoke some life into you. And if you guys are wanting any one-on-one -on -one coaching with me where we can go over perhaps the harder topics right now in your life, or you want someone to talk to, my coaching email is down below. If you guys like today's video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.